my name is Eileen Cullen. I'm the Wisconsin State Field Crops Extension Specialist. And today we're going to talk briefly about soybean aphid. It's time to begin scouting for soybean aphid. The time to start is when the soybean plant is starting in the late vegetative growth stage to the early or first bloom, R1 growth stage. You definitely want to be scouting for soybean aphid by R1. And that typically is between, varies by the year, but between late June and, and early July. So scouting for soybean aphid, um, you'll be going through a field um, and the economic threshold is based on a 20 to 30 plant sample that is uh, taken throughout the field. Uh, 20 to 30 plants are counted, the aphids on the plant are counted, and then an average number of aphids per plant is calculated. Uh, the economic threshold is 250 aphids per plant and actively increasing. Um, and that is based on a sample that represents about 80% of the field. And what that means is that your 20 to 30 plants that you sampled came from a good distribution in the field. So not a field edge or a hot spot in the field, but you've got a really good field distribution. So when you're at that 250 aphids per plant and you see that that population is continuing to, to increase, uh, that would be the time to initiate uh, an insecticide treatment based on that economic threshold. The way to tell if it's uh, increasing is by weekly scouting or as close to weekly scouting that you can so that you can monitor that population. And keep in mind that the economic threshold is set below the economic injury level where economic crop damage actually occurs. So that does give you a five to seven day lead time to make that decision with that 250 aphids per plant economic threshold. To take a whole plant count sample for soybean aphid, you'll be counting both soybean aphid adults and soybean aphid nymphs. You'll take a single plant, start and look at the new growth on the plant, and then inspect the underside of all of the unfolded leaves throughout the plant, as well as looking at the stems. You'll record that individual number for that plant, continue on to your other plants in the sample, and take the average of that total plant sample, 20 or 30 plants throughout the field, for your average number of aphids per plant. For more information on soybean aphid management, please consult our UW Extension publications list and contact your local county extension agent.